Shalom, Shalom. Call all you my Yahweh by Shimei Ashai by Shimei Kadash. Rak the Yahweh. Rak the Yahweh. Rak the Alshai. Rak the Alshai. Rak the Yahweh. Rak the Yahweh. Rak the Alshai. Rak the Yahweh. Call all you. Call all you my Yahweh. My Yahweh. By Shim. By Shim. By Alshai. By Alshai. By Shimei Kadash. By Shimei Kadash. All right, giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well. Peace and salutation to the election, the first fruits, the choices part, that whom are the remnant, the Sha'ar, all right, who the Lord will have mercy upon in these times, all right, that started with the house of David, the Bayat all right, and the rest of the great innumerable multitude of the election, all right, men, women, and children who are no prophets that will receive collectively with the prophets the, the Wah, all right, being predestined before the foundations of the earth to receive the salvation, the victory, all right. And then, of course, um, uh, you'll be giving uh, all praises again to Yahweh Hashem, 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 you know, infinite praises. All right. Uh, uh, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia. I'm the brother of my You got a brother. I am. Yep. And we just going to go into a lesson. The brother had a topic, you know, uh, going on to what? Brotherhood. Yeah, the brotherhood. A brotherhood, Slakia, which is the aqua in the Hebrew. All right. Um, you know, uh, before he I can go over to the lesson, because I had the original Nashima, I'm gonna bring out this one precept and and uh, and read, and then we gonna go from there, all right? Because it was a uh, you know due to spirit. I remember we was meditating on this for days, Fine. and it, you know it's, uh, manifested itself to come out in the spirit today, all right? Um, this is uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 133. And verse 1, which is going to link all together. Um, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. No, unity. Go to your precept now. Come on. All right. So we're going to go straight into this uh, lesson. All right. Which is, should be a chawash, a chad one, a quick one. All right. Do the spirit. Straight into the point. Come on. First Samuel uh, 18, starting from the top. Come on. You know, the brotherhood is very important to us, and this will emphasize itself, uh, you know, uh, this relationship between Samuel and David. Come. Go ahead. Uh, and it came to pass, when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul, that, that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Come. You got any points you want to make on this? Like, going to that word knit. Yeah, so we're going to go into the word knit. And now Saul, all right, uh, was what? He was uh, the father of Yahweh or Jonathan, which Yahweh means the most high gives, Yahweh gives, all right? And, uh, you know, Dawadah's David means beloved, all right? And uh, we know that scriptures always do talk about that the house of Saul shall what, wax worse. Okay. And we're going to... What's the, yeah. the house of Saul should wax worse and the house of David should wax stronger. Right. Stronger, stronger. stronger and stronger. And with the brotherhood, this is a great, obviously, um, representation of that here. All right. How brothers are uh, strong, in this case, being knit together. And that's how we're supposed to be. So uh, going into the term for knit is this Hebrew word here, which is uh, kwashar. All right. So... As the brother read it again. Come. And it came to pass when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul that that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David, and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. Right. Now going into the word knit is quasar. Quashar in the Hebrew, which it means are mentally, uh, it says gird to tie physically in league in love. All right. Uh, also to bind, tie together in league and conspire, which, you know, conspire going into the breathing together, you know, with. All right. Uh, literally breathing together. All right. With, you know, uh, like conspiracy is breathing together. You know, someone had an actual plan breathing together with, you know, to bring about that plan. All right. Well, these uh, being these brothers. All right. Which had these love being. Uh, of course, Dawada and Yahweh David and Jonathan were were knit together in league. So now we're gonna go uh, to the next precept. 
right? Or whatever else finish, you want to you, you slap your party. Yep. And Saul took him that day and would let, let him go no more home to his father's house. God. Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. Right. So it says Saul took him that day that he would let him go no more to his father's house. Then Jonathan and David made his made a covenant. They made a barayath or agreement because he loved him as his own soul, which that's very important. You know, as uh, the Hebrew, uh, wa or ka, as Nepashwa, which is his soul own, all right? Possessive, his, all right? Particularly talking about Jonathan, all right? All right? Now, um, you know, that's very important because us as brethren, um, you know, we're supposed to love one another, all right? Um, you know, being within league with one another. So mm -hmm. going into this now, the next precept that goes in, all right, which, um, you know, Yahweh Shai, he taught and told us uh, so much of uh, what hangs, uh, of course, the law upon uh, the two major commandments, all right, okay. our Tazawar, I'm going to put a commandment in Hebrew, but might be that. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, Matthew 22, verse 36. Master, which is the greatest, which is the great commandment in the law? Right, so he's being asked by uh, particular, what, disciples? Come. Okay. Right. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Right, which you would understand this going back to Exodus, the 20th chapter, which I'm just going to get real quick. It says here that thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay, you know, so we're not supposed to have any guys before the Most High. All right, the Lord talk about He's a consuming fire and He's a jealous power. All right, so we're not supposed to put anything above Yahweh Hashem Shai. The true worshippers are going to worship Yahweh Hashem Shai in spirit and in truth. All right, and walking by faith. We'll go ahead again. Come. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. So we're going to go, and as it said, it's like unto it. All right? In importance, go ahead. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Ooh. Now, we heard who's our neighbors. I'm going to add onto it. Uh, who's my brother? Who's my, those that keep these commandments? That yeah, kind. Yeah. Um, uh, what's that? You know that one? You know what's that brother? Yeah. It's uh remember uh was that when uh was that when his how wish I had his parents looking for him or something? Come on, come yeah, okay. come. On. And they were like like upset. Is that is that it? Mark thirty three and thirty five. Got it? All right, you read it, Bob Kishat Dwanaki. Khan, this, uh, again, you know, every brother is not a brother, all right? Um, we know who our brothers by the scriptures, what it speaks and tells us, all right? Because there's many deceitful, uh, you know, uh, people that come up in this, uh, you know, truth, you know, that are seeking out, uh, of course, uh, our, uh, our liberty, spies and such. All right, and they end up finding out they're not brothers. Well, this is our actual brothers. Go ahead. Right? Mark 30, 33 and verse 32. Mm -hmm. And the multitude said about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. Right. Is he, how is that speaking, right? Come. Okay. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or who is my brethren? Right. Asking the question. How should I ask this question to the multitude? Go ahead. And he looked round about on them, was set about him. And said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. Right. Anna, or behold. Achya, you know. What he said? Mother and brother? Yeah, come on. Okay, my or, mother and my, uh, my brother. Ama, Achya. Yeah, go ahead. For whoso, whosoever shall do the will of, of Yahweh. The will, the pleasing, that will please the Lord, his delights. The same as my brother and my sister and mother right so that's your family God. that's who your family is that's who's doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh because as we're going into you have to be in league as Jonathan and David were in league with one another all right uh going to that Hebrew word again Quashar all right to be in league to bind to, 
to bind uh, uh, in love. It says, I believe, in love. All right. And of course, it's not saying that Jonathan and, and uh, David was homosexual. No, they had a, a fervent love for one another as uh, brothers. All right. And righteousness. All right. You know, you think that uh, men of the Lord are going to be that way? No, not at all. All right. So, you know, that's a. You know, these people thinking that way perverse, you know, you need to change your mindset. All right, so, yeah, yeah. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Right, so all <coughs> in, within those two laws, you know, Yahweh Bashem, love the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Asha, with all thy heart, soul, and spirit, you know what I mean, roughly paraphrasing, and love thy brother as thyself, as thyself. Uh -huh. Now, I want to look into that word, um, thyself. What precept was that again? That's Matthew uh 22, 22. 30, 22 and 39. 22 and 39. So Matthew 22, 39. So we're going to look into that as thyself. Okay. Uh, going into this Greek word, which is see uh, atu, which is the, meaning you. All right. As yourself. Okay, simply, all right, thyself, thee, or thine own self, respectively, own soul, all right? And uh, we are supposed to, of course, uh, respect our temples, because our temple dwelleth what? Yahweh Bashem El Vashai, all right? And uh, also, we know that we're all one body, many members have a different office and administrations, all right? So if you treat your brother ill, you're only hurting the whole body, you're hurting yourself, okay? You hurting another part of you wound, trying to wound another part of body. That's silly. That's why, um, like you say, when Cain, you know, Cain he uh, slew Abel. God. You know that was madness and such. He said, "Am I that brother's keeper?" You're supposed to be your brother's guarder. You know what I mean you're one who can shamar him, shamar will. Yes, guard and keep and preserve him. You see your brother going off. You you know you go and help him, rebuke him, restore him. You know, in mercy. All right. You know, we looking out, we always watching over one another as brethren within this uh, brotherhood. You know, because uh, one, remember, it's tell you two is better than one. That's right. You know, that's all in part. And, and iron sharpens. Sharp that's right. So this all work within Yechadwa, our unity, and lead with one another. Knit, all right? With Shar. Khan, go to whatever next you got. Khan, we're going to finish off with uh, Samuel. Khan. Yep. Uh, so Shamwa Allah or Samuel Hasapar, book. Go ahead. First uh, Samuel 18, verse 4. God. And Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him mm -hmm. and gave it to David and his garment and his sword and his bow and to his girdle. Right. I want you to make your point what you want to go into because you was talking to me earlier before we had the discourse off the camera. I mean, kind of a personal testimony. When, you know, when I, when I uh, first came into the truth, I started watching. Uh, the Atlanta camp, GMS Atlanta. Then I went from watching GMS Atlanta to watching uh, G the DC camp, GMS DC camp, Elder Monagon. And uh, this, um, this one, this one, there was, wasn't allowing no more members to uh, enter, enter the GMS. So I told myself that I'm not, even, I'm not worrying about getting into the camp. I'm just gonna go down to the camp, get a prophet some water, make garments. Do any and do any and everything, you know, to get in good graces with the Lord to submit my feet into the kingdom. And, and, and here I sit now, a member of GMS, because I love thy brother as I love myself. God, yeah, you know, um, you know, brother. See, I see the brother as a brother. You know, mm -hmm. I, you know, what I mean, uh, you know, even a personal testimony on my side. This is one of the um, first brothers that literally flagged me out in the God. world as a civilian. And came into the truth. Okay. Now, literally sitting in you know my house, okay. um, and amongst other brothers, you know, monks on the camp on the battlefield. Okay. That you know, what I mean, we can look at and be like, yeah, this brother, okay. all right, is here holding it down. Okay. You know what I mean, all right. Yeah, because you know I mean? uh, because um, after I start after I start watching the DC camp, I, I found the plane tables camp, and I noticed the brother. And we met each other at the, I met I saw him at the dump. Yeah. We, uh, we, 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 uh, I work, yeah. At my job. Yeah. And I flagged him I flagged him down. Yeah. And told him I was watching or whatever. He told me where to come at. Yeah. And I, after he told me that, I didn't I didn't look back. That's it, you know. The Lord gave the increase and such. Right. The seed was planted. 
All right, uh, you know what I mean? I mean, remember it's a point you I had seen, you remember? And then, then you came back around, come right? Come yeah, it, it's all in the Lord's time, yeah. you know, in the Lord's season. And, you know, he's still here, you know what I mean? He's here in LA, not even just, like I said, on the other side, the brother's in the camp now. Right. He said, Apostle Tahar, I remember uh, testimony even on my side, with, you know, my testimony, my, uh, you know, um, hearing the evidence, witnessing. Uh, Apostle Dahar saying that any brother that um, that's supposed to be in Great Millstone mm -hmm. is going to be in Great Millstone, you know, because remember that whole decree came about because you got many bug outs in Israel. God. All right. Now, those that are going to be in Great Millstone, that's going to actually that are sincerely a part of Great Millstone in the spirit, a part of the body of Mashiach Yahushai. They're not bug outs. They don't have a reprobate mind. They have a mind of Hamashiach. They have a mind of discernment. All right? And they walk in order as we have uh, within this body no schisms. All right? There's no division within the body of Hamashiach and All right? So, you know, for those that, of course, are in, of course, the body, you know, we all walk in one unit, one league, one body, you know, one spirit. All right? We have to walk ha ha under the same mind. Okay, and it's all, of course, um, a thing that we will analyze each and every day with brother. You know, brothers, even before they even get in, when thou get us a brother, he prove himself first. A brother, of course, went through, of course, a testing testing process. All right, and that that's all. Do you have Hashem Shai? We're only vessels. Okay, you know, but you know, um, you know, every brother has their own walk and their own way of getting inside, and that's all given by Yahweh Hashem Shai, man's walk. Um, you know, it's uh, of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, man. You know what I mean? Like, man, can, man can't devise his own way and stuff. That's all from the Lord. If you got a precept, you bring out too. I, okay, I wanted to go into uh, Isaiah the fifty third chapter. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. He speaks yeah, about yeah, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, going through the ultimate sacrifice for his brother. That's right. You know, and uh, we gonna start it on right, right here, uh, Isaiah fifty three verse four. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of Yahweh and afflicted. Right, and it was the most high Yahweh, uh, Abba Nawa, our father, Abba Wa, his father, Yahweh, all right, who actually uh, it pleased him to strike uh -huh. Yahweh Shai, all right, you know, it, it actually pleased him because he had to do this to pay for not only his sins. But the sins of the nation of Israel by his stripes were healed, as it's gonna go into. Go ahead. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Right, for our Pashai, our our rebel our transgressions. All right? Our rebellion, our sins, our transgressions, us missing the mark. All right, go ahead. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Right. And with his stripes we are healed. Right. So with his stripes, we're healed. All right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're healed. Because of the, 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 the blood, the sacrifice, what Yahweh Shai Hamashiach has done for us. You know, so we owe everything to Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. You know what I mean? Because he had to go through, um, you know, afflictions, great, the greatest affliction on earth. You know what I mean? Being here put in the flesh, all right, living perfect in the body of, of uh, Yahweh Shai, all right, um, having to deal with all of the grief of the sins of the nation of Israel, his self. All right, uh, seeing his own people come against him, uh, call him a, a devil, uh, saying that he uh, calling power uh, from using witchcraft, Satan and such, you know, all these different various accusations being tempted, all right, having stricken, stricken elements within the flesh. Yahweh Shai having to drink vinegar, vinegar, gall, yeah, you know, all sorts of, I mean, like on the, 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 the painful process of the crucifixion, you know what I mean? The mental sorrow, that's a lot, man. It's so much. We're going to see that, too, you know. Uh, it's a prophecy on that, how we're going to see how you know, the Lord has marred everything completely, you know, again. You know what I mean? But many of us have been there and seen that, too. We see, wept and cried, you know, uh, for the death of Hamashiach. We still do do the spirit. All right? Yep. Um, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to say something. Um, yeah. If I may. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard enough going. It's hard enough sacrificing yourself for the people that you love. Mm -hmm. You know, but he came and sacrificed himself for people that uh, esteemed him not. Yeah. They didn't care about him. Yeah. And he could have called 12, 12 leaders of angels down and wiped everything out. Mm -hmm. But he, he uh, came down as a mortal man 
and sacrificed himself because he because he loved his brothers. Right. Yeah. He even said, like he said, I lay down my life. Huh. You know what I mean? Like he had the power. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But remember, he's obedient to his father. He was about his father's business. Mm -hmm. All right. Which is to do his will. All right. As his son, his only begotten son, in, in that. Oh, yeah, it. you know, so you know that's uh that's very heavy, you know what I mean. So this aqua, you know, remember, uh, you know, also you got that precept that talk about um, a man that lay on his life for his brethren. Oh. Yeah, if you can uh, find that one, uh, no greater or was it like a? Yeah, it's uh, John 15, 13. John 15, 13. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because this is a, a, a Zabat, the greatest, the Godwala uh, sacrifice ever. All right. John 15, uh, verse 13. Uh, greater love. No, let me start at 12. Okay. This is my commandment that ye love one another. Mm. Okay. This is a commandment. Yahweh said this. All right. He preached this. All right, wasn't a hypocrite. Go ahead. As I have loved you, as he has loved us, and how was shy? He loved the church. He loved the body. Okay, he proved that in his walk. Uh, he proved that many ways. Okay, his conversation, everything. All right, his behavior. Go ahead. A greater love have no man than this, mm -hmm. that a man laid down his life for his friends. Right. Which friends? Remember, your brethren God. are uh, I. All right, which also means special companion. All right, we're very special, and close uh, to our big brother Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, you ain't just gonna put your life on line for anybody. He put it on line for his brother, which is very important. Very important, even deeper to understand that Yahweh Shai did it, where even Israelites that uh, sinned and didn't, you know, which like you got two thirds and just wicked Israelites. You got two thirds here in America and just wicked Israelites all over the world. All right. That uh, just rejected or has rejected Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, and they're still going to receive salvation as is written. All Israel is going to be saved. Come. Yea, are my friends if ye do whatever I command you. Right. Yeah. So you are the Lord's friends if you do what he commands. All right. Which he gave that commandment. We, we went and he, he just said it right there. And he, he even said, What hangs the law? Loving the Lord with all thy heart and thy soul, and, um, and, and loving thy brother right. as thyself. That which hangs the law, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And some, okay? There's mm -hmm. many, it's 613 law, statutes, commandments, but, you know, in some, that's the most important thing, okay. okay? So, you know, with that, that's it. Yeah, come on. You know, due to spirit, I hope, we hope we're, you're edified by the lessons and that it's also, you know, a, a, a up booster, you know, for you brothers that are out there right now, you know? Um, you know, we, uh, as the scriptures say before judgment, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Examine: Are you do you, do you love your brother? Are you laying your line, life down for the for the aqua, the brotherhood? Are you doing everything possible to uh, not forsake fellowshipping with the akim? You know the brother. You know what I mean? Uh, as good as the scriptures say, is that for brothers to dwell in unity. All right, being in one body, being together. So. Now we'll hopefully edify again, giving all praise and honor and glory to you. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushad, Bashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Well, peace and salutation to the election. Shalom. Shalom.